Good afternoon from uh, Shenfield. Uh, I'm doing the Elizabeth line from here to Liverpool Street again on these very comfortable Class 315s. They're as good as the 345s, by the way. And look, have Elizabeth line map. This is from uh, back in the TFL rail days. Platform 4 for the 1903 Elizabeth Line service to Liverpool Street, calling at Brentwood, Haroldwood, Gidea Park, Romford, Chadwell Heath, Goodmays, Seven Kings, Ilford, Manor Park, Forest Gate, Maryland, Stratford, and Liverpool Street. Here at Shenfield, you can change for national rail services, including services to Southend Airport. <coughs> Nothing to see there, just a disgusting train. A disgusting Greater Anglia Class 720, which I hate with a passion. It's nice to see you again, old friend.
I managed to do the class 32, the X Northern class 322. Away. I mean, one of the X Northern class 322s from uh, Liverpool Street to uh, Shenfield. They operated with Northern from Leeds to Doncaster, Ilkley, Skipton, and Bradford Forster Square, and Bradford Forster Square to Ilkley and Skipton. Sadly, they no longer do alongside the 321 slash lines. Here we are at Brentwood. This is Brentwood. Sadly, that thing is broken. The information display. are still comfortable. Plenty of room, however, you wouldn't get that much room if someone was sat opposite you. Didn't see anything, just another disgusting piece of shit operated by Greater Anglia. I mean, the 321s and 322s are good, so were the 317s and 379s. I'll admit, I did love those trains, I still love the 321s and 322s. 720s, not so much. I mean, not at all. 745 and 755 units are alright. I mean, I've only done the 745 from Liverpool Street to Tottenham Hale, so the 755 uh, should be alright, actually. 745 only operates on the following routes, Liverpool Street to Stansted Airport and Norwich, respectively known as Stansted Express and Intercity Units, Intercity Services. Class 755, all Greater Anglia Regional Services, Marks Tay to Sudbury, Ipswich to Felixstowe, Lowestoft, Peterborough and Cambridge. Norwich to Sheringham, and Norwich to Sheringham, Great Yarmouth, Lowestoft, and Stansted Airport. This is our next stop, Harold Wood. Doors are opening on the left hand side.
platform three for the 1909 Elizabeth Line service to Liverpool Street, calling at all stations to Liverpool Street. Gidea Park, Romford, Chadwell Heath, Goodmays, Seven Kings, Ilford, Mary Manor Park, Forest Gate. <laughs> Actually, this is... That actually, this is the um, 1912 Elizabeth Lyon service to Liverpool Street. That information display board back there is not working properly. Stand back from the edge of platform one as a terrible Greater Anglia train is not stopping. Oh, it's a dearly beloved class 321. 321 311. And 321 320. Goodbye, class 321. I love you so much. Enjoy the rest of your trip to Liverpool Street. You'll be calling at Stratford and Liverpool Street. We'll shortly be arriving at Gidea Park. There is one of the uh, flirt trains to Norwich. This is the uh, 1914 Elizabeth Line service to Liverpool Street, calling at Romford, Chadwell Heath, Goodmays, at Seven Kings, Ilford, Manor Park, Forest Gate, Maryland, Stratford, and Liverpool Street. Next station, Rumford. Doors opening on the left hand side. Change for London Overground and National Rail Services, specifically Greater Anglia's horrible class 720s. There's supposed to be strike action on 27th of July and 30th of July, which means any journeys I have planned on doing may be affected. I expect to do all TFL services by 7th of September and the latest. That is until the Elizabeth Line fully opens in October and Elizabeth Line gets rid of these wonderful class 319s. And 315s, sorry, the 319s are still operating with London Northwestern Railway and Northern. Sadly, the former will retire the class 319s from the West Coast Main Line, operating from Euston to Tring, Milton Keynes and Northampton, as well as Watford Junction to St Albans Abbey. Northern uses their 319s on some services, such as uh, 
crew to Manchester, or I mean Alderley Edge to Manchester via Stockport. Crew and Alderley Edge to Manchester Piccadilly via via Manchester Airport or Stockport. Now we're approaching Romford. Doors are opening on the left hand side. Change for London Overground and National Rail Services. I mean, some Class 319s have been converted into Class 769 units that are now operating with GWR and Northern and should be operating with Transport for Wales eventually. GWR is only using the 769s on Reading to Basingstoke and Gatwick Airport services. Reading to. Um, Red Hill and Gatwick Airport via Farnborough, North Guildford and the North Downs Line. Waiting to board the train at Platform 3. The platform gates locked for your safety and security. Member of staff will open the gate two minutes prior to the arrival of your train. Okay. Yeah, uh, Romford uh, platforms three and two are currently blocked off until until your train leaves, until a train arrives. A member of staff usually opens the gate for about two minutes prior to a train arriving. Some Southend and Colchester town services may call at Romford. Platform 1 is usually for the Upminster branch, which runs every half an hour and is only used by the London Overground. Has been since 2015 when, when TFL took over Greater Anglia. When TFL took over from Greater Anglia. I'm not missing much, so I'm just going to point over there. And the horrible trains have overtaken us once again. We're now approaching Chadwell Heath. Doors are opening on the left hand side once again. I think I heard um, yeah, indistinct announcements once again. Uh, something, something, uh, Elizabeth Line service to Liverpool Street.
Good Maze is our next stop. Doors will once again open on the left hand side. Seven Kings is our next stop. As expected, the doors are going to open on the left hand side at this station. Nothing to see here, just a terrible train bound to South and Victoria and a more reliable Elizabeth Line train over there. We're almost there. This is Seven Kings, next stop is Ilford. Bless you. This is your train manager speaking. We just wanted to say bless you. Regards from TFL. Look at all those trains, it's a shame that they all had to end up here. Class 321s and 322s uh, and 315s. It's sad that they have all met their demise here. And you can also see some class uh, 710s. Some uh, 
class 379s and the uh, 357s uh, Greater Anglia 379s that did operate alongside the uh, C2C 357s uh, which are currently in the process of being killed off sadly. The next station is Ilford. Doors will open on the left hand side. And you have a comfortable Elizabeth line. And of class 322 and 321, love you so much. Enjoy your trip to uh, wherever it is you're going to uh, Clacton on Sea, Braintree. Oh, it's a, uh, it was a very good train. I missed a class 379. It's a shame I had to go uh, even after 10 years of service. Already? The next station is Manor Park. Change for London Overground from Woodgrange Park. Two class night locomotives and another Elizabeth Lyon service bound to Shenfield or Gilbert Park. There goes the freight train overtook us, and there is the class 379s that did not deserve to be retired in the first place. I mean, the 720s were not needed. 379015 and 379007, it's sad to see them in the sidings. They should have gone to uh, East Midlands Railway instead of, rather than the 360s going to East Midlands Railway, they should have sent, Greater Anglia should have sent the 379s to East Midlands Railway. It would have been greater flexibility to just walk through the entire train, especially when one part of the train is busy and you want to get to the other part of the train which is not possible on the Class 360, sadly. If I was travelling on the 360, I was... Please change here for London Overground from Woodgrange Park. If I was travelling on the 360 from St Pancras to Corby, I'd probably stay glued to my seat if it was packed. If it was empty, then I'd just wander around uh, that part of the train. So St Pancras, Luton Airport Parkway, Luton, Bedford, Wellingborough, Kettering and Corby. That is Actually the doors at this station open on the left hand side. This is Manor Park. Please change here for London Overground from Woodgrange Park.
waving to our, uh, our lovely passengers on the other side of on the other train van for Shenfield or Gidea Park. At our next stop, Forest Gate, you can change for London Overground from Wedgrange from Wanstead Park. Please change here for London Overground from Wanstead Park. Forest Gate where you can change once again this is Forest Gate where you can change for London Overground from Wanstead Park that I did uh, not so long ago I mean I did it yesterday is Forest Gate. This train is for Liverpool Street. The next station is Maryland. Tracks are never a shortcut. Do not trespass on the tracks. It is dangerous and a criminal offence. Nothing too special about Maryland, it's just a Maryland. Please keep in mind that doors open on the left hand side at all stations apart from Gidea Park where doors open on the right at that station. When at Liverpool Street please be aware that the, that the side the doors open on will be random. There is another Elizabeth Line service bound for Shenfield. And you can hear the Class 345's wonderful compressor sounds. Hello class 321, I love you so much, uh, enjoy the rest of your journey to Liverpool Street. Goodbye class 321, I will miss you my dearly beloved train 321. Our next stop is Stratford, our penultimate stop. Change for Central and Jubilee Lines, DLR, London Overground and National Rail Services. Including those unreliable class 720s. Please. 
unlike the Bakerloo, Central, Jubilee, uh, Northern, Piccadilly, Victoria and Waterloo and City Line, unlike the, uh, and the gangways of, unlike the walkway between carriages on the Bakerloo, Central, Jubilee, Northern, Piccadilly, Victoria and Waterloo and City Lines, there is no risk of death if you use these when the train is moving. <coughs> This is Stratford. Change here for Central. This train is a Stratford. Change here for the Central and Jubilee lines. The DLR, London Overground and National Rail Services. This is our penultimate stop. This train is for Liverpool Street only. Goodbye, three, two, one. I love you so much. I'll miss you so much when you leave us. Central line, I'm coming for you. Not yet, but maybe one day. Um, actually, unlike the, unlike the walkthrough between carriages on the Bakerloo, Central, Jubilee, Northern, Piccadilly and Victoria lines, there is no risk of death if you use these when the train is moving. Goodbye Central Line, goodbye London Overground service to Clapham Junction or Richmond. Hi, 720s, it is like I'm uh, bumping into you every once in a while as I keep coming back to the Great Eastern Main Line and the West Anglia Main Line, let's not forget about that, shall we? And there's a more comfortable DLR train bound for Stratford. I do love those trains that as well as the DLR, but I've become more attached to the Elizabeth Line and the uh, non-TFL services across the UK. Now passing through Pudding Mill Lane as well as that tunnel that the Elizabeth Line trains to Paddington will use in October. Then maybe next year the Elizabeth Line will fully open with Shenfield trains going to Reading or Heathrow. Maybe it'll be uh, next year it'll be Shenfield to Reading and Abbey Wood to Heathrow. And down, down, down there is the A12, Blackpool Tunnel. Or the Black Widow Tunnel, if that ever becomes a thing. Sadly, Black Widow died in Endgame. She sacrificed herself for the Soul Stone. It seems I'm going to bump into those 720s every time I come back to Liverpool Street or the Great Eastern Main Line and West Anglia Main Line in general when I try doing the uh, London Overground or Elizabeth Line services, or if I try and get a 321, which is more comfortable by the way, and is more enjoyable. The 720s are sadly not walk through, unlike the 730s that London North Western Railway and West Midlands Railway will be getting for use on the long distance West Coast mainline services as well as uh, the cross city line between Litchfield, Trent Valley and uh, Bromsgrove as well as between Four Oaks and Redditch. Let's just say at 7.30 we'll operate London North Western Railway, Watford Junction to St Albans Abbey and Euston to Tring, Milton Keynes, Northampton, Crewe via Tamworth and Birmingham via Northampton, London, Northampton, Birmingham. Birmingham New Street, as well as the Birmingham New Street to Birmingham International Shuttle, so Birmingham International, Birmingham New Street, Walsall, originally Trent Valley, also Wolverhampton, Birmingham New Street, Walsall, and Litchfield, Trent Valley, Four Oaks, Birmingham New Street, Redditch, and Bromsgrove, as well as a uh, Birmingham New Street to Crewe via Tambridge Parkway and Stoke-on-Trent, also Birmingham to Liverpool via Wolverhampton, Stafford and Crewe, we're racing a Stansted Express train. Unlike its uh, intercity unit counterparts, uh, 
the Stansted Express is a standard class only. And there is Bethnal Green where you can uh, interchange between the Central Line and London Overground. We'll shortly be arriving at our final stop, Liverpool Street. Change for Central, Circle, Hammersmith and City, Metropolitan and Northern Lines, London Overground and National Rail Services, including services to Stansted and Southend. Oh, they are working in this carriage. Never mind, they uh, they weren't working back in Shenfield, but now they've started working as the journey was progressing. Next route at Anglia service departing is the uh, 1942 to Hartford East, which is a Shet train, by the way, that one over there. I'll keep saying it, that is a very shit train. The seats are awful, little to no leg room. And massive downgrade when only five carriages are used as opposed to ten. Once again, change here for the Central, Circle, Hammersmith and City, and Metropolitan. Ha 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 ha, an empty train, hopefully it's being scrapped. Sadly it's not. Once again, you can change here for the Central, Circle, Hammersmith and City, Metropolitan and Northern Lines, London Overground, and National Rail Services, including services to Stansted and Southend and Elizabeth Line services to Abbey Wood via Canary Wharf and Paddington, where you can change for services to Heathrow and Reading. <coughs> and there is your next Elizabeth Line train to Shenfield. I think the, uh, these trains should be used on all of those Befine services, not just Liverpool Street to Shenfield, but also Paddington to Abbey Wood, Heathrow and Reading, as well as through those tunnels, those new Elizabeth Line made tunnels. Once again, this is our final stop, Liverpool Street. Change here for the Central Circle, Hammersmith and City, Metropolitan and Northern Lines. 321320 is going to form the 2002 to Ipswich. This is 315853 signing hour. 315853. Six four five six five seven one three three three. The motor. Pantograph carriage seven one four four one. And another mo and another driving carriage, six four five six six. That's three one five eight five three. Now this is another unit. 
informed of a uh, driving cab at 64535, uh, motor 71318. Pantograph 71426. And another driving cab 64536. This Elizabeth Line train is ready to depart for Shenfield. Next stop, Stratford. Three one five eight five three and three one five eight three eight. Three two one three two zero and three two one three one one is are going to form the twenty oh two to Ipswich, I believe. Platform sixteen for the nineteen fifty seven Elizabeth Line service to Shenfield, calling at Stratford, Maryland, Forest Gate, Anna Park, Ilford, Seven Kings, Goodmays, Chadwell Heath, Romford. Lydia Park, Harold Wood, Brentwood and Shenfield. Platform 16 for the 1957 Elizabeth Line service to Shenfield. This train is really comfortable. 321316 has just arrived. The leg room on the 321s is is also is more decent compared to the 720s once again lots of space train is going to depart for Clapton on Sea. I think it's 321316 and 321317. Anyways, uh, sadly I'm going to have to end the video here, even if these trains are indeed legendary. As always, see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody take care.